Okay, so hi there Gemini. This is Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com and this is your January 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Relay. My voice <coughs> is still cracking all throughout this January forecast. So please do bear with me with that. I, I still do have colds right now, so my voice might not be the best at this time. I'll try to make, make the audio louder um, in case a problem comes up later <laughs> as I finish the recording. But anyway, here is your general love reading forecast which may or may not resonate with every gemini's out there gemini sun moon and rising sign <clears throat> so um yeah let's just dive deep into this and the gemini's that i'm picking up at this time i can of feel that either they are single or their love life seems to it does not have that much passion i feel it's like they feel ready they have a lot of love to give but uh, for some reason i just see this more as a single person maybe wanting someone whom um, is not with them maybe things have fallen apart between them or this could be just from someone afar you know from overseas it could also be that you know you already had a breakup with someone and you know things have you know went into a very stagnant state but you're still hoping for a connection with this person despite the isolation you might have experienced and felt in this relationship there's just a lot of waiting cards over here uh, we do have the seven of swords and the four of swords here in the past um, which gives me that feeling we're in you know there has something something already happened in the past and it may be there is an action in that love area so i kind of feel that you are at the point right now wherein you are healing possibly if you already had a breakup this could be a part of you healing getting your power back that kind of energy and I kind of feel that a lot of you guys are waiting not really waiting but is on the lookout for someone new to enter your life I kind of feel that you're willing to date again there is an energy here of you know trying to talk to people maybe i don't know having a lot of blind dates or dating someone talking to them it's like you know a single person going out in the field and doing speed dating or something like that you are i kind of feel that you want you're starting from scratch is what i'm getting here you have broken off a relationship and you are at the point of you know wanting to date around even though you're still holding on to someone else you're still thinking about a particular person in your life but that is not really holding you back to go out and date and meet new people which is always a good thing i do see here that in the near future there's going to be um a lot of happiness in the air 
There's going to be a lot of happiness, a lot of social events as well could be happening. I just kind of feel that, you know, it's not the most thrilling kind of energy. You know, the excitement that you are wanting of this person, this is the person that you want, your emperor. And you had a lot, this person has made you feel things that you have never felt before. And even though that you are trying to move on, and going out into the dating field once again i kind of feel that you know it it does not have that excitement you once had with this person so there could be an energy of you know dissatisfaction at some point it's like it's like you're just talking to someone and it might seem like a boring month if you're hoping for some form of a thrilling excitement because all i can see here is just random talks you know simple talks random talks is what i'm picking up here nothing really very significant i do see though that there is a possibility that you might travel overseas some of you might travel overseas or some of you might try to, I don't know, to reconnect with someone from the past. There is that feeling and that energy. Right now, there is an energy here wherein you are wanting, it's like you're dreaming. You're wanting some form of happiness, some form of Prince Charming to come into your life and to sweep you off your feet. And the choices that you have right now are not really satisfying for you. So you always end up, you know, having this Emperor card as your ideal person in your life. We are getting here, though, that in the near future, there is a possibility that someone of a similar energy could come into your life. And they could be from overseas or or there is also a possibility that, you know, this emperor card that we see over here and this emperor card are just one person. And they are both overseas and maybe, you know, there could be a rekindling of that a connection of that relationship i'm not saying that things are gonna are, are gonna be better uh but i do see that this person could come up in your life again and it will be up to you how to you know navigate that energy or also a possibility that you know someone better will is going to be entering your life but right now it's really just you know making connection with some with people with a lot of people networking all those kinds of stuff i kind of feel that you feel hesitant to to connect and talk to people at this time there are some form of frustrations when it comes to communication with people but um, do not isolate yourself, Gemini. You thrive in socializing with people and to talking with people. And as you talk to people, at one point you will, you know, have this encounter with someone in particular that can create some form of connection and there could be some form of developments happening between you and this person so i'm not telling you to go back to the past or look forward to the future i just kind of feel that right now the most important thing is for you 
to love yourself and to focus on yourself and still talking to people meeting new people in your life and know that if someone is really for you they are going to you know knock their way back into your life there is really someone here that i'm picking up it's just that maybe not within january or maybe they are just observing you that is why it is very important that you focus on loving yourself i kind of feel that right now the most important thing is you get exposed to a lot more networks a lot more people and you know don't isolate yourself don't don't lock yourself in your room you are a gemini you know you are you will feel better by talking to other people and to work on projects so if there are opportunities for you to 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 team up with someone in terms of your work and career i kind of feel that you know even though you might be hesitant to do that just go with it because i kind of feel that the opportunities that you take and accept during this time can lead you into something more something more substantial something it can lead to something you know whether it's it it's for your love life personal life or career there is something that you are going to be benefiting by accepting the opportunities that come and to working with that so that is really the the very focusing energy that i'm picking up here right now i am not going to be advising you to go to the past right now just love yourself and focus on yourself we do have the moon in virgo in the first house so this is really about not too much about the other person not too much about other people but really now is to focus on yourself to love yourself get get those energy back i kind of feel that some of you guys are lacking in energy as well maybe you have been sick a lot of you have been sick and maybe this is the time wherein you need to to do something to heal yourself there is a possibility that you know if you're sick there's going to be a lot of expenses that you need to do maybe because you are refusing to go to the doctor refusing to go to the hospital and now you are going to be forced to address those sickness that you have that you ignored in the past so there is a need for you to work on on those kind of things so the idea here is that you need to know that if you are neglecting yourself this is the month wherein you are going to be forced by a universe or a higher divine nature to to address things to fix you not fixing other people but fixing you it's all about you you got to be busy about you you got to love yourself more because maybe you have been you have given your attention elsewhere far too long far too much gemini at the very least the gemini that i'm picking up again this is a general reading so i do not expect this to resonate to each and every one of you of course so um yeah right now you may have issues in terms of your love life but this is not the time I kind of feel that this may not be the time to expect any significant actions or events between you and this person so and if that is the case just focus on yourself and bring out the better version of you and that can sometimes change things for you in a better way so your advice card for this reading this january is you have archangel uriel and it's saying here your emotions are healing which enables you to open to greater love 
I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. So getting this card, I kind of feel that maybe you have been through a relationship with a lot of rough patches and maybe there's there was a lot of upset, a lot of betrayals, a lot of anger that has occurred. So definitely this is t a time of healing and this can and if you are already in the process of healing, this is a time of of manifestation as well. You're trying to manifest what kind of relationship do you want? What kind of person do you want to attract in your life? That, you know, I kind of feel that this is the, the right time to focus on on what kind of life path you want to occur throughout the year, you know, not just for this month. So, um, yeah, definitely just a healing, healing month for Gemini. And I kind of feel that with a lot of activity happening to you last year, you know, you need this break because by February, March, and May, around those months, things are going to be very active for Gemini. So get your rest right now and be ready to manifest things that to come in your life because you are at the point of manifestation. But right now, you need to get your energy in check, get your health in check, get your energy back and your power back in your life. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. This is your Gemini reading for January 2020, and I'll see you guys next month.